Hey guys, what's going on? This is Badfish coming back at you with another episode of Gone Gaming. We are of course back in the city of Acadia, my current city skyline series based off of primarily New England. And today we're going to be doing something a little bit different than my typical episodes. Uh, first thing you might notice is the time lapse is significantly slower than it typically is. It's obviously not like real time speed, but it's definitely slower. A lot of people have been asking me if I could slow down the time lapse just a bit so they could see better what I'm doing when I'm detailing. So this one is at like, I think 400 times speed when I typically do like 650 to 700. So it should be significantly slower and hopefully can give you a little more insight to what I'm doing. Uh, but we are gonna be building out a park here in the city of Brookline that we started last time. Uh, today's episode is gonna be a lot more detailing compared to the last episode, which was certainly more building than we typically do with a little bit less detailing. But we're gonna be detailing out this farmer's market right here in this park and doing a really nice city park. So hopefully it gives you guys uh, some different ideas of what you can do with your parks or, you know, just a cool build to watch regardless. So right now you're seeing me just put down tents and things. I got a lot of different market props off of the workplace. So these are like market stalls, market tents. I think some of them were actually built for like a historical market. So some of them are built for like this, I believe it's like Paris and the you know industrial revolution, turn of the century kind of deal. Uh, so I'm using some of those as well. And then, uh, you know, more modern props as well. But honestly, you can't even tell that, you know, market's a market. So we're gonna have, you know, different food trucks and fruit stands, try to kind of encapsulate that feel good feeling you get when you go to the farmer's market and it's all that fresh fruit and all that food and you know there's vendors who are cooking things and you know I, I've been to a couple farmers markets that I really have loved and it's just cool to you know see the food made right there and it's people who's grown it and have a ton of passion for it and uh, I wanted to kind of make a cool little area like that right here in Brookline so I think we end up with a pretty uh, fun spot and I think the park ends up being one of my best I really enjoy detailing and landscaping around in this park um, you'll see me start putting some of the food trucks in in a little bit. These are the same food trucks that I used back in San Pedro. If you just look up food truck and I believe under props in the past year, it's like the second or third one down for most popular and uh, they're great. You know, they're great little trucks and they're all branded differently and uh, we're gonna, you're gonna see at the end, we're gonna have like lines of uh, different citizens kind of waiting in front of them. I use a bunch of different props for the citizens to make it look a little more realistic to, you know, uh, a farmer's market like this. You're gonna have people waiting in lines, people who are, you know, uh, just walking around and looking at menus and things like that. So I tried to get that. Uh, you probably can see it in the thumbnail when you were looking at the video. So now I'm just making a couple different souvenir shops and things. I didn't want everyone just to be, uh, you know, selling fruits and vegetables. If you've ever been to farmer's markets, you'll always have like one dude who's selling homemade hot sauce. That's always a thing. You'll have obviously like different people, like vendors making actual food. Um, one of the farmer's markets I went to, like the best thing I've ever eaten at a farmer's market was these fries that I got at one in Florida. And they were like basically just a bunch of fries put into like a, a paper cone and then topped with a roasted clove of garlic and like fresh Parmesan cheese. It was awesome. Those, those were some immaculate fries. And I think like balsamic. So that was a good time. So uh, just trying to, you know, add different vendors in and uh, make, make good memories for people like those. And then in a bit, we are going to start uh, throwing down some trees and stuff to kind of start making this look more like a park instead of just a random field. Um, again, I'm trying to incorporate a lot of the forest into Acadia and to the different cities and stuff. So I wanted to really bring the greenery in with this park as well. So we'll get around to that in just a second. We just have a little bit more building out of the actual uh, farmer's market itself first because I wanted to make sure that it you know was big enough that once this city is fully grown it's hard like when you first start a city to know how to scale things because the city could end up being gigantic and then this park is way too small or I could end up having a small city on this side and this park is just right but uh, I have a feeling this one's gonna end up being very small so I am just trying to put enough options that once the city grows a little bit it looks somewhat uh, in place with the surrounding city but we'll see uh, my wife already doesn't think so she thinks I should have more stuff in here already so we'll see how that goes 
Um, now I'm just adding like some park benches and stuff down and uh, you know trying to get the surrounding park built out a little bit more so obviously when it's not a farmer's market there's still things to do in this park so we have uh, you know a little place for cookouts and stuff right there with the benches we're gonna put you know down the vanilla gazebo here just to score some entertainment points with the actual game system and uh, I tried putting down some of the other park stuff, but they were just too gigantic. So we ended up just throwing down a restroom. So there's places for people to go to the bathroom during the farmer's market. So public restroom was the, uh, the answer for our entertainment woes there. And I'm gonna start going through and trying to use ploppable asphalt a little bit more. Uh, it fights with me a lot. I think if you've ever used it, it fights with you if you don't have level terrain. Um, at least for me, that's been my case. So I've been uh, working with that a little bit. So I had to cut a little bit of that out because it took me a while to get that right. And I uh, just ended up having to move the bathroom down. So these props kind of got switched around. But I actually like how those two trucks are parked now. I think it looks a little more interesting than just having them right against a typical little walkway. And now, uh, kind of as the centerpiece to this whole thing, I wanted to put down this big live oak tree. Uh, it's gigantic and it makes for a really good centerpiece tree, especially because I'm gonna surround it with the pine trees I've been using. And then you just have this big bushy oak tree right in the middle, even with the pine tree surrounding, I think it still stands out really nice. Uh, and I just think it's a beautiful asset. I mean, it's a beautiful tree in real life, so why not? And then uh, right in this part, to add a little more detail to we're just going to put down some grills and stuff. So, you know, it looks like people do their cookouts there. Maybe people go buy stuff at the farmer's market and then stop right over and start grilling up some food. Who knows? And then again, for more little park infrastructure, we're going to start putting down these little drinking fountains here with uh, benches and stuff like that. So again, when there's not a farmer's market, it still seems like a functional, workable park that you'd want to go visit. Um, we'll add like some trash cans to some of them and in a few I'm gonna start putting some lighting down as well um, But I really like these drinking fountains. I think they're nice uh, You know, they're a good addition to even just your sidewalks and stuff um, I'm pretty sure again. That was a, just a prop. I looked up uh, You know fountain and it was one of the most popular ones I was actually looking for like a large fountain not a drinking fountain, but it worked out and now we're just going to go through and kind of uh, try to figure out realistically where you would put light posts in this park. Um, I tried to keep them obviously to the path and some of them near things. So like that's near the gazebo. Uh, a lot of them are near benches and stuff and the entrances just to keep it well lit. And we'll kind of scroll out. I think it ends up looking really nice. So that is our lighting done. And I just wanted to add a couple more props to the benches and things like that and uh you know a couple umbrellas to these guys over here and then we're gonna start jumping into our landscaping here in just a moment so this is kind of a different way to do landscaping for me i typically work from the ground up but i think when i work in parks i kind of want to know i guess what the skyline of the trees is going to look like so i start with the bigger trees first and kind of work my way down when i'm doing parks but when i'm just doing like forests surrounding i start with the undergrowth don't know why just the way i do things um i'm not going to keep all the landscaping in because obviously it does get pretty repetitive but just to show you guys what i've been doing i got a big mixture of different pine trees and stuff that i really like and i think Work well together and then a good mixture of some underbrush so we have the wildflowers and wild grass I've been using forever and um, like these reeds and then just to kind of frame it out a little bit more I've been really enjoying this like rock pack I don't know exactly which one it is but if someone's interested in knowing what rocks those are I'll definitely um, can find that out and reply in the comments um, if not it'll definitely be in the uh, collection once I actually get it done for the workshop so again, just doing the big trees first and kind of working my way down to adding some brush and stuff. Um, I try to do it as haphazardly as I can because natural growth patterns are pretty haphazard. Like they're not gonna be grown in lines. So I just try to kind of throw things around where I can and some of the bald spots, put the rocks down and stuff like that. And I think it ends up looking really good. I'll kind of look at it a little bit more and live play with you guys, but I think it ends up uh, looking like a really nice, you know, green park that I'd wanna take a walk through definitely if I'm part of the city. And then just to kind of show you what I do with landscaping when I'm trying to frame around props and stuff, I just typically do the smaller stuff and uh, you know try to fit it right in um, and just tweak it until it kind of you know brushes up right against the props and stuff like that. Obviously you don't want things clipping, but you know you want it, if you think about it, people park near the trees all the time, so <laughs> not a big deal. Um, 
and that is just gonna about do it for that part and our little farmer's market there. So now I'm just gonna kind of do some different detailing in the little bit of low density that we started, this kind of commercial stretch that we started in the last episode. Not a ton, I just wanted to have a little fun with uh, a drive-through and a parking lot and then we're gonna put like a plaza on the front of our big police station there. Just to add a little extra detail to this area um, and make it look a little more interesting. There's definitely a lot more I can still do and probably still will do to this commercial stretch. Um, but just to get it started, I really like that Walgreens prop right there or building. Uh, that's by Gula. I've liked that since like I first, I feel like it's been on the workshop since I first started City Skylines, so forever. Um, I really enjoy that. Now I'm just going to kind of start using the asphalt again or the pavement, excuse me, to, uh, you know, kind of make the concrete meet right up to the other concrete near the street over there so the sidewalk so it actually makes sense as a parking lot uh, again i am going to cut most of that because it takes me quite a while to get it to sit the way i want to see like i'm doing a ton of leveling right now and things like that to kind of make it uh look flesh and so there's not you know the really big uh shadows coming from the different pieces of pavement that's one thing that's really annoying it's like why is that pavement floating pavement doesn't do that so <laughs> i've been working real hard with that and then just putting a little bit of a parking area on the back side of the walgreens here so for all the shoppers that are going in they got a place to park and hang out and uh you know have their cars and obviously for the workers too, gotta remember them. And it was just giving me black and white cars, so I, I just took forever here to try to find a blue one. Finally got a blue one and uh, decided to put that in so it's not just repeating colors. And then just doing a little trash area on the back side of the Walgreens here. Nothing special, but you know, I think little details like this, in my opinion, pile up. Um, so, you know, once you do a bunch of trash areas as you're scrolling through your city, it'll just add that little bit more of a sense of realism. Um, or maybe that's just me, but I like it. And last thing we're going to be doing here is building out kind of a plaza in front of this really big and beautiful police station we here have here. I believe this is the Detroit police station. I want to say it's by DARF. Um, I'm not 100% on that, but I'm pretty sure it is. So we popped that in here last episode. I just wanted to detail the front end of it a little bit because it's such a grand building. It felt wrong just having concrete, especially like beat up concrete like this leading into it. So I'm um, just doing a couple different pavers. I, I really tried to keep it stark still. I mean, it's a police station. They're not gonna have really bright and vibrant colors in their pathways. So it's still like just concrete pavers and like a very simple uh, landscaping scheme, very simple fountain. But again, I think it adds a little bit more of like a professional sense to the run up to this really well designed building. Uh, so I think it, it looks really nice. Like this building has a lot of arches and like precipices and crownings and things like that. And I wanted to just have a more, uh, you know, kind of like nice landscape, a little bit of run up than just the pavement to it. Um, but we're just going to add a couple of parking lots now um, for the police cruisers and things like that. And that is just going to about do it for the time lapse here today, guys. So if you enjoyed it, definitely leave a like. Uh, if you're new, definitely subscribe if you enjoyed the video as well. We're going to have a bit of a live play and then some cinematic shots to end out the video. So I will let the music play you out and I will see you on the other side, guys. Enjoy. All right, guys, welcome to the live play section of today's build. Let's jump on into it. We got our nice farmer's market here right in the middle of the town of Brookline that we started building out in the last episode. So we got it kind of near this little bit of uh, where it transitions from the downtown into the low density a little bit. So let's scroll in here. Starting with the park entrance, I ended up using the bigger one uh, because with the, I wanted to start with the small ones, but the way this uh, pavement and this uh, dirt path, I really wanted it to be dirt path through the entire park. The way it met did not look very nice. It looked very gross actually. So I thought this was a better transition and it's nice just to have the pavement through the parking lot and then switch right over to the dirt paths here. 
but coming in we have a bunch of different market props and this is uh lenda the food vendor i believe on the workshop so that's fun so she's got a bunch of different poses that she's selling things to people and i did do a bunch of different people props you guys didn't see that in the time lapse but i just added them just to make it look a little more well used through here um obviously the sims don't typically like line up in front of props like this so i just wanted it to look a little more realistic and screenshots and stuff like that and honestly once i uh scroll out of here even when the game's playing you can barely tell they're not moving um so the different market props we got uh i'm just kind of mixing a bunch of ones that i found on the workshop there's like fruits and vegetables so it's like a fruit stand this guy's got vegetables and i think those are like rugs back there um bunch of different trucks kind of parked throughout so people you know who aren't coming in the food trucks brought their wares and their pickup trucks and trailers and things like that and we do have a bunch of different food trucks this is the same food truck pack that i used back in san pedro um again if you just look up food trucks the most popular in the past year i believe it's number two or three so definitely check that out they're a great pack and uh you know this is a vanilla prop right there but just tried to mix it up with a bunch of different things throughout the park tried to you know keep it kind of changing and make sure people had different wares and things like that and had enough options to make it seem like a you know a food uh farmer's market that people would want to visit in a city as big as this and then we have this nice oak tree right in the middle here with our different park benches and stuff and little grills surrounding it. And just did a lot of the different landscaping. I'm really happy with how the landscaping turned out in the park. I think it looks really nice. Uh, you know, we have these benches kind of lining the paths throughout. Obviously the vanilla gazebo there. But yeah, I think the park itself came out really good. And then just the little bits of extra detailing we did, obviously added this little drive through to this Dunkin Donuts right here and uh, added this Walgreens and the little parking area behind it. So those turned out nice. And then I do enjoy, let's get a little more sunlight on that, but I do enjoy the entrance to our police department here. I think that came out really good as well. So let me know what you guys think. I think it ended up being a fun build and uh, you know added some good detail to this side of the town. As always, if you enjoyed the video, definitely leave a like down below. I really appreciate that. And if you're new to the channel and you enjoyed this video and you love City Skylines, definitely subscribe, stick around. Uh, we do a lot of cool builds here. Hopefully I'll give you some inspiration for your cities and stuff to build. But again, guys, I really hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to leave you with some cinematic shots of the build here today. I hope you enjoy those. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.